We just finished up with Orange Theory. Such a good workout. Um, I was just about to pull up my stats, but it's not 9.30 yet. One more minute. But we're gonna head to Starbucks. And I was just thinking about when I kept telling you and Amanda about how my, every time I would go and use my app in the points, um, I was like, I feel like there's like a little fairy that just keeps <laughs> putting money on my account because it's still at $31 and I've been going to Starbucks the last week and my money doesn't move. I feel like I'm getting free Starbucks. And then I texted Adam that and he was like, are you sure it's not on auto reload? And I was like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> this whole time I thought I was getting free coffee and it was just my bank account reloading it for me. It's so crazy how that works, yeah. TT, TT moment. Okay, here are my stats for today if you guys do Orange Theory. Um, a little above average today. Can we see yours? This is Adam's. Is this average for you? Yeah, usually like 850 to 900. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. But we just got to Starbucks. I'm so sad that the pistachio cold brew is not in season anymore. They should just make it like a standard drink that you can get. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wow, that was really intense. I do it every time. Three sneezes. I think it's hereditary. <sighs> what are we gonna get? Just... Kind of over the. Hi, I'm all right. How you doing? Brown sugar sheep and espresso. I don't, I don't know what to get. I'm gonna do two drinks the Ooh, exact same way. Cinnamon caramel. Of course. Uh, grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso with uh, two pumps of vanilla. Sh um, vanilla syrup and two pumps of brown sugar. Um, two pumps of vanilla and two pumps of brown sugar syrup. I want this one. Of course. Uh, Sugar-free vanilla. Sorry. Sugar-free vanilla, got it. Okay, we just got home. I need to get ready really quickly because I have to leave here in like 20 minutes to go meet with Grayson's therapist. Um, this coffee, by the way, I don't know how I feel about it. The cinnamon caramel cold brew. I don't know. Big decision. I don't think it's that good. Um, we haven't had our breakfast yet. I'm not a big breakfast person until like 11 o'clock and then I feel like I can put some food in my stomach. Um, so I'm gonna get ready, take a quick body shower and then head to um, my meeting with Grayson's therapist. Keep it. 
So I got a chemical peel two days ago and I thought that my skin was gonna freak out over it because my skin is so sensitive. Um, I got the peel to target like all my dark spots and hyperpigmentation and I barely turned red at all and it's day three now and I've had no peeling whatsoever. So I don't... I don't know, she, she used a pretty invasive peel too. So I don't know if my skin takes very well to peels, which kind of sucks, because I've tried broadband light, that laser, the BBL laser too, um, before I got on Accutane to try and target them. Um, and that didn't really work either. So I don't really know what to do. Um, maybe I need to try a different laser or a different peel. Um, she said she was a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like she didn't, she wasn't super intense with the peel because it was my first peel I've ever gotten before. So she only did two passes. Um, and I think you can go up to three. So maybe I need to try just something a little bit more intense. But yeah, I'm not really supposed to wear makeup for another day but I don't have any peeling, so my skin feels completely fine. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna do like a light makeup routine because I have to leave here in like eight minutes. I'm gonna do my CC cream, some concealer. I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, I've repurchased this so many times. I love it. I love the consistency. It covers really well. Um, but it doesn't last very long. I'm constantly having to repurchase it. There's not a lot of product in here, but it's really good. And then after my meeting, I have to come home and shoot a campaign, a pretty exciting campaign with um, American Girl. Um, so... I come home and do that and then I have a vlog I'm working on that um, is pretty much ready to go live but I have a few edits I have to make on that and then what else oh I was building a leprechaun trap last night with the girls I started it last night so I need to finish that Bailey's always wanted to build a leprechaun trap I've never done it before, so I bought everything to make that yesterday, and I started a little bit of it last night. So we're going to finish that today, and then um, I want to try a new recipe tonight, creamy chicken enchiladas. So we're going to make those tonight for dinner. Set my makeup. Some powder. Set it. I'm glad I said it. Woo. It is like super gloomy. Shit. It's been really gloomy the past two days. But yesterday it was freezing. Today it's like kind of humid and warm, which is gross. I'd rather it be cold. 189, baby. Thicker than a sticker. Is that good? Uh, I've been in the 90s for a while, so I guess it's good. It's, we haven't had a Big Mac in a couple nights. You guys, my addiction to Big Macs is on another what's, what's a locker car? level. The locker door. There was a, I know, there was a point there where I was doing so good, with, and now I'm back on the DoorDash train. 
back on it. So we're gonna break that tonight with this new recipe. I really do not like this setting powder at all, but I'm just trying to use it up, but it's probably gonna take a while. It's the um, Laura Mercier, but it's in the shade translucent. So it's like white. And I want like the yellow shade, the shade right above it. It's just like bright white and it's, I don't know, I don't love it. It's too harsh, I feel like. I'm gonna use it. Okay, bronzer, I love this bronzer by Too Faced. It's the Sun Bunny, looks like this. It's like two-toned. I have this one too, um, Chocolate Soleil, but it's just one, like, one shade, and it, there's no shimmer, it's um, matte. I like this one better. I'm just gonna do my routine until I have no more time, and then we'll stop there. Then I'll come home and finish it, because we have a campaign to shoot later on this afternoon. I'll probably only be able to get to like my brows, and that'll be it. So Grayson's therapist is wanting me to bring utensils and plateware that he uses at home, I guess, because he wants to work on, or she wants to work on um, feeding, So, which he's pretty good at. So I'm kind of confused on why she wants to do that, but she wants me to bring plates and bowls and stuff. Yeah. Oh, really? Maybe they're wanting to work on that then. Oh. Hey, baby. Yeah, well, most of the stuff that we give him is like finger food. Yeah. Hi, baby. What? Your makeup in my room? Okay. What? What? I just finished up at Grayson's school. I love the days where I have parent teacher meetings and I get to see Grayson. Sometimes the meetings are just me and his therapist going over his progress. But today I got to see, so we went over his progress like the first half of the meeting and then Grayson came in and we worked on feeding. He's great at feeding, like there's no issue there. But the issue is he is eating a lot of foods at school and not at home so he eats like certain things at home and i know he'll eat them but at school i asked for like a printout of the things that he's eating at school because she just like nonchalantly threw out the things that he was eating and i was like wait what because he will not touch those things at home and she was like wait really so um like yogurt peaches like all these different kinds of fruits and i'm like he will not touch those things at home so a lot of the times kids with autism um have to have the exact brand exact color etc or they won't even touch it just because they're so routine oriented so i saw the exact um sides that he was eating with he had pizza today at school and so i'm gonna go home and order those specific things so he had peaches yogurt and then they also offered him carrots and green beans which he does not touch and that's just like a standard with him at school but he was eating yogurt and peaches like all on his own and so i'm like okay i'm gonna go home and order those specific things for him so that he can have a variety of foods at home to eat because at home he like only eats chicken nuggets, hot dogs, pizza, bars, and like that is pretty much it. Sometimes we'll eat bananas, but I'll offer him all these things and he will not touch it. But again, it's because it's out of the ordinary for him. So that was nice to get like a list of things that I know he's gonna eat, but I have to get the exact brand and feed it to him the exact way that they feed it to him at school. Very interesting, but learned a lot today. So I'm gonna go home and finish getting ready. I just need to do my eye makeup and then I'm gonna finish, I promised the girls that I would finish up their leprechaun trap with them. So we're gonna do that later on today. And then I'll show you guys the recipe I'm gonna make for dinner. Girls and I just finished shooting content for American Girl. Like how cute this little ice cream truck is, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. All the little mini props. And then on this side, it has like all the ice cream flavors. So cute. So we just wrapped this. The girls are playing with it now. They've been dying to open this and play with it so i expect them to be in here for like the rest of the day let me see your doll shay 
Here's your outfit. So cute. What flavor did she get? Chocolate? Chocolate fudge. And Bailey's a little worker. Let me see her outfit. Cute. Thank you. you guys have fun. I finished up editing the content to send to my management for approvals for American Girl. Um, just in time for this one to wake up from her nap. She's awake now. And we're just hanging out watching Moana. It is so cloudy and rainy outside. It's thundering, lightning, the whole nine. So we're cooped up inside. Um, the girls are playing in their room. She's eating ice over there. That's her favorite thing. Tatum, what are you eating? You eating ice? She begs for it all day long. Those towels up there are because Bailey and Shay were running outside in the rain and they got so dirty, um, they were running outside barefoot. So had to wipe their feet off. So that's why those towels are up there. But we're just hanging out. Chloe's begging me to throw the ball that she found from the kid's basket. Can't find any of her um, tennis balls anywhere. So she's resorted to the kid's Ball. Look how gray her face is getting too. It's so sad. She's not even four years old yet. She'll be four in June. Isn't that crazy? I feel like she's starting to get gray so fast, like out of nowhere. Where are your tennis balls, Chloe? Come here, Tots. Her skin is completely clear now. She's been on the steroid for almost a week. Um, so she's doing so much better. Can Are you, you say hi? hi? Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's over there? All your toys. Where's your basket of toys? Over here? You want to ride on the scooter? You can't really ride on the scooter with ice in your hand. Do you want me to hold this? Show them how you can scooter. You can't do it with, with ice in your hand, baby. Okay, maybe you can. All right, you can show go, me. Go. Go go go. Go, 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 go. Go. Look at the back of her neck. She does have a stork bite, the little um, birthmark. So that's what that little tiny red mark is. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you pick him up, please? Thank you. We'll have to throw those away. Those are dirty now. Got lots of ice. Oh, no, don't eat those. That's yucky. Can you pick them up? Clean up, clean up. Clean. Our nanny had a dentist appointment after she put her down for her nap today. So um, she's usually here till four, but she left at one today. Good job, but I finished up all my work just in time. Okay, let's get some new ice, baby. This is yucky. I was about to get started on the creamy chicken enchiladas for dinner tonight, but went to go grab the tortillas in our pantry and they're rock hard, so that was a bummer. Adam just left to go to Walmart to pick up some tortillas, but this is everything else that you need for the recipe, so I'll share how to make it once he gets back. Adam just got home from Walmart, secured the goods, and he told me he wants to make it. I offered. Whatever. I did. You offered. You offered. Sorry, I don't know how much you like me cooking. What's that called? Uh, acts of service or something? Yeah. They're ugly. <coughs> Up. You gotta take this out of your mouth. What? <laughs> this is her favorite binky and it's like the most obnoxious one. Are you okay? Bye bye. <laughs> so we have all the ingredients now. I'll link the recipe down below. Just found it off of Pinterest. Um, but you just bake it in a dish and um, put it in the oven. So let's get this out. There we go. Do your thing. I just sent you the link. The card my dad got, Tatum. Tatum loves when my dad sends cards, and so he's like all about it now because she is so into them. Like she'll hug them and kiss them. 
so cute. He always sends the most elaborate cards. Look at all of these. These are all cards from the last week that we haven't opened yet. He sends so many. What are you eating? Oh, you're gonna share with me? Mmm, so yummy. So good. Chloe's cleaning up the scraps. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can't find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way. Okay, enchiladas are done. I just took them out of the oven and set up the kids' plates for dinner. So mango, raspberries as their side. We're gonna do corn on the cob with this, but Walmart didn't have any corn on the cob, they're out of stock. Grayson probably won't even touch his raspberries. I didn't even offer him mango because mango is the girl's favorite. Um, so I didn't want to waste that if he wasn't gonna eat it. <laughs> they love mangoes, that's probably their favorite fruit. But this looks really good, I'm excited to try this. I don't think Grayson's gonna eat it, so I'm probably gonna make some like chicken nuggets or a hot dog on the side. But I'm gonna offer it to him, so we'll see. Adam just went to go pick him up. Yeah. Can you feed your baby? This is your baby right here. Can you feed her? Mmm. Can you feed her ice cream?
Okay, the girls and I just finished up our leprechaun trap. Oh, look, three, three gold. <laughs> it turned out so cute. I'll link the Pinterest article that we used. We kind of supplemented with a few things. But mom, if, but we, it's catch so cute. if we catch one, we can't open it since, the, since this is holding it closed. We can cut it off. We can just cut the pipe cleaner to see what if we caught them. Patrick's Day? Um, Friday. I'm hoping he falls in there. When's Friday? It's back time. <gasps> Look, Mickey Mouse is in there. Okay, I'm giving Tatum a bath right now, but wanted to show you guys the soap that we're using on her right now. Um, our nanny actually recommended this. Um, a family that she knows, one of their kids had really bad eczema, and they said that this bar completely took it away. It's a non, or it's an antifungal soap bar. I got it off of Amazon. It also comes in a baby like liquid form too. Um, I ordered that, it hasn't come in yet, but this is the bar that we're using. This is the only thing that we use on her in the bath right now. We're just being like extra careful with her skin. Um, but it's hard to say if this is working or not because she is on the steroid. I'll show you guys the steroids that she's on right now. So this is the steroid that she's on right now. This is what she was on last month too for like a good few months until we ran out of it. I love the consistency. It really absorbs well into her skin. It's called the Erin Regimen. It's the ointment. So this is how much of the steroid is in the ointment. And then she's also using this on like her tougher spots. So this is just a straight steroid is what she explained to me. So we use this like on her wrist and her feet where it's really bad. Um, and then we apply this on her body like one to two times a day and then this um, at night, but her back is like completely clear now. There is no spots on her anywhere. Her neck is clear. Again, that's for the little stork bite. Um, but you guys remember, her back used to be covered, like completely covered with eczema, and it's completely gone now. I'm gonna brush her hair. She is obsessed with Minnie Mouse right now. Good job. Can you say hi? Hi. What's your name? Grayson. Grayson. How old are you? Three. Three, that's right. What is in your hand? Baby. What, a baby? Yeah. We got a new little Polly Pocket. Baby. Yeah, it's a baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. You just brush your teeth? Brush tip. Brush teeth. That's right, you just brushed your teeth. Are you okay. ready for bed? Bed. Can you say bye? Bye. Say time for bed. Bed. Bedtime. Bedtime. Can I have a kiss? I love you. I love you. Okay, let's go to bed. Mm -hmm.